everybody, how you all doing? So today I was so excited to film this and I actually have my cup of tea right here which is a relaxed tea so I should be very relaxed after this cup of tea and I've also got some homemade gingerbread men to snack on. So grab a cup of tea and a snack and let's check out what I bought at the art store. So the first item which I saw and I just had to have is a little mini easel. Now this wasn't expensive, this was only about five pounds. Oh, so it's a little tabletop easel and this was basically for some little tutorials that I'm going to film of uh, like little sketches and studies and I thought this would be a great way to like prop it up on my desk so that I could pop my camera here and sort of film what's going on because sometimes it can be a bit awkward to be painting and also filming at the same time. So yeah, that's really cool. I'm really, really happy with that. It looks very, very sturdy and so the brand name is Royal and Langnickel and I would really recommend this if you're looking for a tabletop easel. Okay, so the next item is something which I have actually used because I couldn't wait before I filmed this video. I've been looking for a sketchbook and a lot of you have been really, really kind on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook because I sent out a message saying I'm looking for a new sketchbook like a bigger one than my little moleskin journal and I just wondered if there were any really good ones that you guys recommended but before I actually read all the answers I had actually already bought this which is okay I think I'm gonna get another one I think I'm gonna save this for more investigative art so like if there's something that I'm not really sure if it's gonna look really really bad or whatever <laughs> then I'll try it in this before I waste like good paper because this paper is kind of thin I think it would be really good for drawings if you're into like pencil drawings or maybe charcoal and um, but for paintings it doesn't hold out so well as I say it's nothing special so I wouldn't particularly recommend it and um, just to show you a little painting I did in there of some sunflowers and I think a lot of you guys have asked for a sunflower painting tutorial so I think that soon I will be filming a sunflower tutorial so give this video a thumbs up if that's something that you would like okay so next I've got just a little palette so this palette is going to be for watercolours and um, because I don't know if I've got any around but a lot of my watercolours and gouache palettes are extremely gunky and messy and they're ones I had from school so I was like you know what it's time to treat myself to a new little palette because those ones I've had for like 10 years plus and um, so yeah I think yeah it's not ceramic it's just plastic uh, which is fine I love the idea of a ceramic one but plastic's okay and um, so yeah I just liked this shape because there's a nice big mixing bit in the middle and you can put all your different colours around the edge the next item is a bit boring it's just blue tack we all know what blue tack is and we don't need to see that. Next is a pretty cool little nifty brush that I'm dying to try out. So when I bought these I thought that the actual tips was made of bamboo. Now I realise that it's this bit that's made of bamboo. Basically I saw another artist using these and it you could just create some really incredible effects using watercolour with them and ink as well. So I'll probably be putting these in a future video so that you again can see how they work because I do not yet know how they work. Next item is a good old favourite of mine and that is GAC Medium which is Golden Gel Medium Regular Gel in brackets semi-gloss. So I use this for so many different things. I Sometimes I will use it on the canvas before I actually put paint on it if I don't want like you know how canvas has all the little bumps in it if you want quite a smooth surface sometimes I'll just put a couple of layers on this on first before any paint so that it's a bit more smoother other times I will add it into acrylic paint maybe if I've not got enough of a certain colour I will use this to eke it out a little bit I'll try and show you the consistency inside obviously you can see that it's not a runny liquid you could probably go like that and it will come out it's like a gel like a really thick gel also what I use this for is when I'm varnishing an acrylic painting I will use maybe one maybe two layers of this under before I put the varnish on. You've got your finished acrylic painting 
Then I'll do a couple of layers of this mixed with a tiny bit of water and then when that's completely dry after 24 hours I will go on with my varnish. So basically all that does is in the future if your customer or whoever it is yourself might want to have the varnish taken off it just really does prevent any of the layers of the painting coming off at the same time. Whew, that was a lot of words. Again, a bit of a basic one, um, but scissors. So these were like 75p each, and I quite like the long handle ones. So you can never have too many pairs of scissors in the studio. Okay, so next we've got another palette knife. Oh, all this plastic. Such a waste. So this is a obviously a palette knife. My other ones are, well, you can see the difference. So basically the, these are just completely caked in paint and I will clean them off, but I did actually just need another one with a bit more of a concentrated edge. That's that, I like these as well because they're really bendy and flexible. I don't like a palette knife to be too stiff because you want to keep that movement in the painting. Next I got this little tiny paintbrush. I don't really like have a favourite paintbrush that I will use to sign paintings. So I just buy really, really cheap ones to sign. Okay, so the next item is something I'm really, really excited to use and no doubt you'll see in future videos. And these are the oil bars. So this is oil paint in sort of like a bar form. And I've got a couple of these already. And to be fair, I didn't use them as much as I wanted to. I think they work a lot better for abstract painters than they do realism paintings. And the reason for that is because it's like straight from the tube almost, like you can't really you can mix them, but not like traditional oil paints. So say you've got, say this paint in here, you could just use that and just draw straight on it. But I will really, really enjoy using them in future sort of abstracted paintings or even paintings like this, like more impressionistic floral paintings. So this one is like pretty abstract, um, pretty, not abstract, that's the wrong word, but not very realistic. Let's put it that way. And I really like these strong blobs of like really intense colour. So these are why I bought these two colours. I've got um, cadmium red and magenta. So I can just, instead of using paint on a paintbrush, I can just go on and straight draw it straight from the tube. Uh, I got tons and tons of canvases that will keep me going for a while. So I went a lot for the usual square ones. I absolutely love working on a square format and also the normal sort of rectangular ones. But I also went for some different shapes this time um, and some, well, it's still a rectangle, but yeah, so I got a little one or I got a couple of these and I also got a larger one, a larger one this size. So yeah. We'll see what happens with them. I don't have a grand plan for them yet. One day I'm sure I'll know exactly what I want to do with them. Okay, so that is it for the main haul, but also I wanted to show you um, this paint. So basically, at the weekend, we've just come back from a holiday in the south of France, and we went to Bordeaux, and it was absolutely amazing. We stayed in this beautiful chateau, and it was just so, so beautiful, and I wish I could live there. Um, but we went into the city of Bordeaux for a couple of days and I found a most amazing art shop. I'll put some pictures in now to show you because it was just so incredible. It was just rows and rows of oil paint and I couldn't help but get some Sennelier oil paint. Um, I probably could get hold of this but it's extremely expensive. Yeah, I thought I'd make it worth my while and I went for a Series 4 pigment which is like the most expensive range you could get so I only got one and this was £15 which is really expensive but I think it will be worth it because I can't wait to use it and oil paints last for like a really long time so I hope you enjoyed that art haul and I hope it made you feel a little bit like you've gone art shopping yourself as always it would be amazing if you could come and find me on social media so my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook are here if you enjoyed this video hit that like button and it would be amazing if you could subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye the best thing is to eat the head first because then you don't feel guilty.